So now we're going to do the lowercase black letter and now we'll get started. So I transferred my lines to the paper. What I'm going to do is I'll do the letter first. We're going to do it sequentially, alphabetical. And then I'll break down the strokes. And then I'll show you how to do each of the strokes. And we'll talk about that. And one thing I want to show you is when you're doing the letter, let's say we're doing an O, it's a very narrow condensed letter form. You can see for the spacing, spacing in between, this negative space is the same width as the stroke itself, the stem strokes. If you make everything condensed like that, it's a graphic effect, but it's also really difficult to read. So one of the things you can do is you can elongate that, this part, longer and make this wider. So you can see that these are, this is very condensed and how we elongated this stroke across the top to make the letter wider and more readable. But as you can see here in the word ultramarine, for example, if I were to close this down, you can see the, the strong picket fence regularity of the letter. And it's also difficult to read, but it's a quite beautiful graphic as well. Here's another example of the letters where it's the same thing written, but it's wider. And it's because this shape has brought this so that the space in, in between inside is wider. So now it makes it more readable. Now we're going to do a very basic lowercase black letter form. So we'll start with letter A. So we're writing at five and a half nib widths high and my first stroke is like this. It's at a 40 degree pen angle and you notice that I started below the waistline so that when the, this part of the letter, the second part, starts at the top, it doesn't go above the line. The, the very corner of it will, but it keeps it within that height. And then here's the second stroke in the top. And then I'm going to close this by bringing this down, pull it to the right. So I'm going to do another A, a different one. This time I'm going to start about halfway up, short stroke, bring it to the right. And then you see what I'm doing with the corner of the nib is I'm pulling the corner of the nib up, starting this in the middle of that stem stroke, angling it down pulling it down and to the right, using the corner of the nib to finish that. So this is stroke one, angling that corner, using the corner of my nib to do this. And then I will also use a corner of the nib to make this stroke right here. Now for the letter B. It has an ascender letter form. And you can also do the alternate and omit that entry stroke. that. One of the things I'm also doing that you might notice is when I make this stroke coming down, I take the corner of the nib and I slightly bring it up and then put that little lilt on the bottom like that. So there's a place to angle right at the stem stroke to meet that. 
so that's a B. So now the C. Come up. And what I did on the top of this letter is I put that stroke down, you angle it down, I use the corner of the nib to pull that down a little bit. So this is stroke one. Stroke two. And stroke three. D. It also has an ascender, stroke one, two. And what I'm doing with this top part of the ascender is I'm putting my nib in line with the entry stroke, the first, coming down and straight down. There's a D. So here's the first stem stroke. You can do it all in one move. I'm lifting my pen so that you can see what the different strokes are. Setting your pen back down, go out to the right, and use the corner of the nib to slide it across for the E. Now for the F. Straight down. Use a corner of the nib, it's a descender, but I'm going to angle the pen so that I have the corner of the nib. Put this top on, and then I'm going to do the crossbar just right under the waistline. So here is stroke one. And the other thing you notice is that I also am below that so that when I attach this, I'm not way over that line. Lilt that. And to make this crossbar, I'm flattening the pen angle. So what that means is I'm not holding the pen like this, making them, because it would be too thick, but I'm flattening it by turning it in this direction, and I can make it much thinner. So the G, straight down, pull it out to the right, okay, so what I did here is this part of the letter came down and it was pulled out, and then it goes to the left, and then this one comes in this direction and pulls to the right to meet. We start below the waistline, pull the pen up, angle it to the right, and this is also in line with this. And there's also another G, an alternate form, at the bottom. And it's that. So at the bottom of this, the only thing I'm doing is I'm attaching this stroke, this oval, going across the top. Now let's go to the H. So for the H, it has an ascender. Stem stroke down, to the right, like that. So if we break it down, you have a stem stroke, you have the foot, put this back in the center of the stem stroke, angle it down. So there's an alternate to this right part of that H, and that is 
bring this down, curve it to the left. So what that stroke is, is it comes down and then you lift the pen on the corner of the nib on the left corner and moving it to the left. And it does a hairline, you see that? So that's the H, alternate H. So one thing you may notice is that I'm using a hand guard. The hand guard is absorbing the oils in my hand and it's also keeping the paper clean. And I'm also using several sheets of paper underneath that acts as a cushion. And it makes the writing a much more pleasant experience when your pen touches the paper. It's a very tactile thing that's nice. So we'll do the eye next. Put that entry stroke on and straight down for the stem stroke and pull out. And then you notice I always pull out and have that little bit of a exit stroke. And then dot it like that. Just keep it really simple. This entry stroke, sometimes you can omit that if you have two letters that are really close together. So for example, if I have, let's say an E, and I'm gonna put an I right next to it and it's really tight space, then I'll just leave that entry serif off like that. So now I'll do the J. And straight down, use a corner of your nib, pull the stroke to the left, and dot the J. Straight down, corner of your nib, and pull it to the left. Now I'll, I'll do the K. It's an ascender stroke, so you go right up to the top of that line, which is two nib widths above the waistline. When you get to the bottom, leave room for the foot. So we have that part of the K. Attach your nib to the stem stroke, pull it out, make a diagonal, slide your pen to the left, put your nib back, slide straight out, come down, and put the exit stroke down. So let's do it again. So here is stroke one, stroke two. I'm going to go back into the stem stroke, come in. So I'm going to use a red one here so that you can see it better, where the attachment is, coming straight out, coming down, pulling it to the right. And now there's another alternate K which is this one. Down, foot to the right. Come up, curve this, and kick it out. It has a different exit stroke at the bottom. So we come into the stem stroke. And kick that out. So you may notice I keep moving my paper and it's because I'm, I always want to write in the optimum place. And so I move it, instead of moving my hand and leaning over, I'm moving my paper so I'm always writing right here. And there's one more thing that you could do to the bottom of that diagonal. Put that down. You would angle this stroke down and put that on. And now for the L. You can put on that serif stroke straight down, get to the bottom, and move it to the right. And that's all there is to that one. Or you can leave it off. You can see that it's just like the beginning of all of these are pretty much the same. So it makes it very fast to do. So now for the M put my hand nib right in the top, angle it to the right, come straight down, put another foot on there. And you're always paying attention to the negative space to keep them even. One thing you might notice is this is at a different angle. So I'm going to do an alternate part of this M at the end, and that would be 
on the third stroke. Set me mid back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the pen up, come out, and do that. So what that is, put your pen back in there, pull it up, set your pen back in there, slide it back down, come down to the right. 